Hey guys, coming to you with another PygonBot 9.0 tutorial. And in this tutorial, I want to talk a little bit about the scraping module in PygonBot 9.0. In previous versions, uh, PygonBot essentially uh, just uh, scraped or harvested website uh, URLs from search engines uh, using uh, one a default footprint uh, that was entered into the application. That footprint could be mo modified in different ways, uh, but when it pulled search results out, it would only grab uh, website links that actually contained a contact footprint to that link. So any like base domain names PygonBot previously couldn't uh, actually pull back um, to, to use. In PygonBot 9.0, you can do that and much more. PygonBot 9.0 has the ability to manage multiple footprints at once, or you can use the default footprint that uh, is the default contact form footprint. The ability to make your own custom footprints is really cool because now PygonBot will pull back any links out of the results. So whether or not there is a, a link that goes to a contact page or not, um, it's still going to pull back that data and you'll still be able to collect you know, tons of different uh, social data, email addresses, phone numbers, Facebook IDs, etc. Um, the custom footprints uh, is pretty simple to use. Um, there's another tutorial video. You can check out our YouTube channel. Uh, it's under Great Business Reviews if you need to look it up. Or you can just search YouTube for Pygon Bots. There's also a link on our tutorial page that goes to our YouTube videos. So if you have problems finding it, you can always go to our PygonBot.com website and look for the tutorial navigation link up in the top navigation there and find the link to our YouTube channel. So... Um, this is what it looks like uh, in a text file if you're going to have multiple footprints that you're going to uh, scrape the search engine with against your, your keywords. Um, in, in this specific example, I'm using a, a few different uh, contact footprints because um, my main focus and most of what I, I do with my scraping and, and PyCombot deals with actual contact form marketing. Um, but you can use any footprint you want. It, do, it really doesn't matter. And what this does is uh, it goes to Google and it uses the keyword against each one of these in separate searches in Google. So you're going to be able to get a ton of different results uh, that you're able to pull back into Pygum Bot. Now, if you're going to use the cu custom footprints, um, besides just having a footprint list there, once you actually choose that file by clicking the add footprint button uh, you would have to choose the custom footprint option here so it would go against the footprints that you want it to scrape. Uh, if you just want to use uh, key terms and no footprints uh, there is this option here at the bottom which says scrape keyword uh, no footprint and scan and what this option specifically does is it will just only scrape uh, the search engine according to the keyword with no footprint attached to it and then after it's done harvesting all of that those website URLs it then goes to each website and scans them for any of the social media details or phone numbers or email addresses uh, that you've selected in this settings box down here to actually actually collect so it gives you a really unique way to get data uh, from from all these different businesses. Um, it also gives you a unique way to search for contact pages that you've previously haven't been able to uh, do before. Uh, anyways, uh, this pretty much sums up the basics of the uh, scraping module in PygonBot 9.0. I hope that you guys enjoyed uh, this tutorial. Uh, do be kind, hit that like button or share this among friends or other marketing groups that you're a part of. Uh, get the word out there. This is a beast and uh, you guys have a great day.